and welcome back to another gas walkthrough today we're looking at one of my puzzles my name is bill murphy uh and this is cascade um philip newman is perfectly fine but i just told him that if i was going to post this i would put myself up to record the video because uh i'm not putting a dear friend through having to uh slam the keys like that um so uh, welcome to Gauss, genuinely approachable Sudoku, where we uh, like to push the boundaries a bit at every now and then, because that's how we keep it fun and interesting for us. Uh, today's puzzle is a Gatai uh, that I set by hand in the middle of a staff conference because I was having a panic attack and didn't know what else to do. Um, but... At Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, we make Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Sometimes they're classic, sometimes they're variants, sometimes they're just weird. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find the link to this puzzle. We do it for free. You can subscribe to our Patreons if you want, but like, you know, uh, you don't have to. We're going to keep doing this. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is Cascade. Um, you'll find the link to this in the description down below. Now, um, why do I set monstrosities like today's puzzle? If you can see it just behind the camera and the little thing, um, because I can, and because uh, occasionally I like to get openly confrontational about uh, getting people to use Pemper, which is a beautiful puzzle software, uh, puzzle creating software, which opens up so many doors and people just really need to get a little bit more used to it. Um, but I will put the Sudoku pad link, um, below, please, for the love of God, do not try and solve it on mobile. You cannot do that. Um, it would be insane, but <sighs> let's get into it. Um, so this is cascade. Uh, now, I'm going to read you the rules and talk you through it. So, put the digits 1 to N in each row, column, and outlined region in each grid, where N is the number of cells in the row, column, or grid. Sh cells shared by grids are in both grids. So, up here is a standard 4x4 four four Sudoku. So, put the digits 1 to 4 in each box, row, and column. Uh, in this 5x5, five five, it is just put it in each box box at each row and each column there are no regions this is a six by six sudoku this is an irregular seven by seven down here and over here is an eight by eight that's regular too now uh i'm gonna solve this in pemper today um i would recommend that you do that too unless i'm having some issues again um no, it should be fine. All right. Um, so I'm going to get get going on this because this one's going to take me a while. Uh, this is the second time I've tried to record the video on this. So uh, pray for me for having to do this again. But um, please give it a go. I swear it's fun. It's challenging. Um, it does get progressively harder as you go along, um, which was what I was aiming for. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, for regular 4x4 four four Sudoku, I'm not going to go super slow on this one. I'm just going to power through it. So, 3, uh, 1, 4, 3, 4, 4, 1, 3, 2, 1, and 2. Sweet. Now, 5x5. Uh, five five, uh, in row 1 and column 1, place the digits 2, two and 4. Um, because they're the most heavily restricted. So you got four, two, five, and then over here, where does two go? Where does four go? And then finally one to finish it off. Now in column four, you can place a three and a five pretty quickly because of the three in the middle. And then where does one go? In row four, it goes there. Four and five to place in column three. Uh, we can do that. Uh, two and one to place which we can do and then finally five three one three that's what we call in the business a latin square now let's get into our six by six all right so if you're like why does why does anyone do this to themselves the answer is, I don't know. Um, so 
where does three go in box two? Can only go there. We can place a six as well using the six from the uh, row one. Uh, but we have a one five pair. Two in column two tells us which way around we can place the two and the four that are still remaining. Uh, we have a four to place in box three. It can only go in one spot because of the uh, four in row three. One three pair in row three leaves us with two and five left to place. We can do that because we have a two in box four. Uh, one and six going that way. Four and five. Three and six i forgot to actually resolve the one and the five uh the one in box five tells us how that goes uh four and five uh six and two uh six and three in row five go that way uh two four and five left to place in row six we have a two and a five up here so that's a four which is going to do some damage Four, five, one, three, one, and two. Now, one can only go in one spot in uh, region one. Um, they're not really boxes in this region, so I'm going to try and call them regions every time. Five can weirdly only go in one spot in region two, um, and it's this one because uh, this five and this five see both of them. Uh, see all the remainder of the spots. Uh, six can only go in one position in this region too. Um, and it's this one. Uh, finally, when I place that six, I can place a six in the weird H-shaped region. And it goes like that. Um, three, four, and six left to place in row one. Uh, this is three, this is four, and this is six. Three, four, and seven left to place. Two, three, and seven in this region. Uh, but now that I know that three and seven must go there, this can definitely not be a three or a seven, so it must be a th four. Uh, we can place a one over here, and we can actually do the rest of this region because we know that five can't go into either of these cells, meaning that this must be five. Uh, four and two go there. This cell can't be a seven. Uh, it must be a seven because it can't be the three from down here. Three and seven. Uh, we come up here. This is two. Neither of those cells can have a two. Uh, this is one and two. Um, uh, where does four go in this region? I haven't even gotten down here yet. Uh, but we have a four, five in, uh, column three to place. So that's four. That's five. Uh, this cell has to be three and seven, but that's not super helpful. Um, oh man. Okay. Uh, five and six left to place in this region is a lot more useful. Uh, three, four, and seven left to place in, uh, region five, I'm going to call it, is, uh, that cell sees four and seven in the row um this cell must be four because we already have a four in row seven uh where does two go in row four well can't go there so it must go there that's two that's one um three and seven left to place but uh five and seven we know which way around they go in uh bleh, column six i have to keep changing it every time all right five uh and then two three six left to place in that final region so we'll put a three in here uh six and two apparently my computer cannot handle oh don't you dare do that to me all right, three. Apparently my computer cannot handle recording in OBS and solving, oh, don't you, and solving in Pampa. But mercifully, there's not that much more to go, um, except for the very sinister eight by eight. Now let's come down to our eight by eight. Now, uh, where does four go in this first box? Uh, this was the cute thing I liked about putting the two uh, because it takes up one of the spots that four can go. 
Uh, now, five can only go in one position in this final box. So we're going to put five in here. And then six can only go here because we have five, six, five, six, and this five will tell us which way around this pair goes. I feel like I'm losing my voice recording this one. This is four. Um, we can't quite do the two, seven, and eight yet, but I will pencil mark it. Uh, two can't go here. And two can't go here. In uh, row seven, I can only put three here. And then that leaves me with a six, seven, and an eight to place. So six, seven, eight. Uh, this must be two. Oh, there, I've accidentally taken two out of here. That's what I meant. All right. So let's come up somewhere else. Let's, yeah, let's go somewhere else. Uh, da -da. One, two, uh, where does six go in box two? Six must go here, uh, because we only have one six to place in column eight. Uh, then, meaning that this must be a six, seven pair. We can't quite do that yet, but we'll get to it. Uh, one and three left to place in uh, row one. Three there, one there. We have the three in column seven, which tells us which way around this goes, meaning this must be two. I'm just going to do some damage down here. Eight, seven, two. Putting an eight there. That's a six, seven. Uh, one and three left to place in, what is that? That's column six. All right, three there, one there. Uh, one and eight left to place. Uh, we have a one and an eight in the boxes telling us which way around this goes. Uh, three... Two, four, five left to place there. Uh, this is now two, four, and seven. All right, and I'll clean up my pencil marks too, because that's always really useful. All right, now let's come back over to these boxes. Now, three can only go in one spot. It must be here in box one. Uh, we cannot quite do the one, five, and eight yet, but that's fine. Uh, one can only go in one spot in box three. It must be there. Now we can do box one. Uh, so that is one. And then we have a five and an eight. Uh, the five down here tells us which way around this goes. Uh, we can place two now, which is going to do some a stack of damage. This is two. This is four. And this is five. Uh, four, seven, two. Four, six. And five and six left to place in this one. We can do that. That's because of this five in row two. Uh, this is five. This is six. Seven and eight. Uh, this has, to, this is a naked single seven. So. That's seven, that's six, that's seven. And then we can just finish this puzzle off. Um, so this has been Cascade by me, Bill Murphy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, well, it's fine. There'll be another puzzle tomorrow. You don't have to let me know that you didn't enjoy it. Um, regardless, have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you next time. Bye.